Hey guys, sorry it's uh, been a hot minute since I made a video, but uh, ran into some issues this morning. Uh, went to go start the truck at 3.45 to get to work this morning, and the clutch pedal didn't want to go down. I'll get more into that later. Uh, there's a, a time change during the video. Uh, I got off of work at uh, just after noon, and had to come home, work on the truck as much as I could, and then had to get in the shower. I had a lot of other plans for this afternoon. Finally got back out, got her all fixed up, uh, but let's go watch the video. All right guys, so here's what we got going on. Uh, I came out this morning to go to work and uh, pushed the clutch down, or well, attempted to, and uh, it stuck. So I'm thinking it's either, I'm hoping it's just uh, that the slave needs uh, bled off. If not, maybe change out the master cylinder. I've already got one of those sitting in the garage, so let's uh, let's try to bleed it off and we'll see if that fixes it. All right, so we're gonna take the master cylinder and we're just gonna pop the cap on it. If I can get it open. Let's see. You got any fluid in there? Yeah, there's some in there. Let's see if that relief of pressure did it. Screw that back on. Come back around. Nope. All right. Well, I'm going to chase some brake or some uh, clutch lines and we'll see if that fixes it. All right, guys. So I think I already figured it out. I climbed up underneath it here and I went. Okay, so here's the transmission. Let's follow it up. Oh, so inside of here, oh, where is it at? That's the slave cylinder, that blue ring with that black off the back of it. It might be a little bit of glare, but uh, that's the slave cylinder. And this line has to go in. There's a spot, Let's see if I can find it. It's been about a year since I actually replaced that slave cylinder. I don't exactly remember where it goes, but let me find it and I'll hook it back up. All right, so that slave cylinder comes actually right up there to that little deal right there. So this should just be able to go and push back into that. And that should be in there good. Now, let me roll back out from underneath of here. Hopefully I didn't check up the camera too much. Okay, well, now it's like super hard again. We can bleed it off. It's gonna open that so it gives it some air to do. And it's still not wanting to go down. All right, so next thing to look at, let's see that clutch pedal comes up into the back of the master cylinder so we'll probably look on the inside and make sure that the rods not bent or something crazy like that still dripping fluid so it means I still have fluid in there at least so it comes up hmm let me dive a little bit deeper into it. Alright, so I've, every time I pushed on the clutch, it would pop this line back out. So I push it in, I push it in real tight, really good. You see I'm kind of dripping now. Um, what I would assume, I'm not an expert on this, uh, but I assume that when the line becomes disconnected, it shuts the flow off so it doesn't just spray, spray your fluid everywhere. So when the line became disconnected, now the clutch doesn't want to push down. So I got it all hooked back up and now it works. All right, so now I fixed it, so it does, but now uh, it feels like it did when I lost my slave cylinder and it, this is all free float and then it grabs instead of the other way around. So I have a really short deal for actual clutch length. 
Uh, what I think I might need to do is go from the actual slave cylinder and bleed it. Uh, bleed some air out might be the issue. So I'll get underneath and do that here in a little bit. And uh, hopefully that fixes it because I feel like we're about 50% there. We're working on it. We're almost there. All right, guys. Sorry if the wind's bad. We just had a cold front roll through. But uh, we're going to bleed this slave cylinder off. Uh, if you can see right up here where my wrench comes out, that's the bleed off valve. So what we'll do is I will open that. My wife is inside the truck. She'll push the clutch down and hold it down. And once all the fluid stops running out, I will close the bleed valve and then she will release the clutch. And then I'll open the bleed valve. She'll push the clutch down. I'll close the bleed valve and she'll let off the clutch. Just make sure that you have enough fluid in your slave cylinder or in your master cylinder so that we're not already pushing more air back into it, into your lines and everything. It's just going to make this a longer process. You're just going to be doing double the work trying to bleed out the air that you just put back in. So, uh, I'm going to move the camera out of the possible flight path of this fluid. Uh, a lot of people say hook up a hose, connect it into a soda bottle, and drain it that way so you actually catch it. I have my oil drain pan though. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to hope that I catch it on the first round. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go with that because I need my truck for the morning. Uh, and I'm not trying to go out and buy a hose and everything. So, quick fix. And uh, let's get to it. All right, so again, I moved it so we're out of the path. It's right up here, so you know where we're working. So I reach up here and open that. I'll get it a couple of turns and get up underneath of it a little bit better. Give it a few turns. Let me see if I can finger loosen it. Yep, you see it's already dripping. Got it running down my hand here. I should probably take my watch off. It's kind of a nice watch. Didn't think about it. Alright baby, go ahead and push it. I saw how it all squirted out there. I hope I got that on there. But, uh. You still holding it? Huh? Yeah, make sure you hold it down, baby. Alright, so she got to hold it down. And then. I'll get back in here and. Give it a couple. Finger tight twists. And then let me find my wrench. And I will tighten it down the rest of the way. Oh, come on. All right, baby, now you can let off. Alright, and now we'll just do that a couple more times. Get all the air bubbles out. Alright guys, so after we bled the clutch lines, uh, my clutch pedal feels a billion times better. So now, uh, I don't know how, how obvious it'll be with the different videos. Obviously the lighting is um, a lot different now, but... Now, when I push on the clutch, it starts to grab here, and I have all of this for clutch movement, right? So, I just have this little bit of play, whereas before I had all of this as play, right? And then, like, this much movement, right? So, it feels a lot better. Uh, I just took it for a drive around the block. Everything is running great. So, I would have to call this fixed. 
So just remember when you're doing your, your clutch lines to open the bleed valve and then depress the clutch, close the bleed valve, and on mine, the pedal would stick down to the bottom. So we just had to, you know, hook your foot up underneath of it, pull it back up. It'll suck all that fluid back into the line, recreate that back pressure or refill that back pressure. And then you open the line, push your clutch down, hold it down, close the valve, let your foot off. Just do it over and over again. Again, make sure your reservoir stays filled and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching.